Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make this festive and delicious treat called reindeer chow. Okay, for this recipe, you're going to need some Czech cereal, and they have corn checks and rice checks. And the difference with these is that the corn checks is a little bit more harder, it's a little bit more crunchy, and the rice checks is more lighter and crispy. Okay, so you're going to need four cups of corn checks and four cups of rice check cereal. Set that aside. To a microwavable dish, I'm going to add a one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, half cup of peanut butter, and four tablespoons of butter. Put this in your microwave and let it go for 30 seconds and then stir it. You want to do this in 30 seconds intervals. Okay, back in the microwave one last time. Just stir it until everything is completely melted. Now you're going to take that mixture and put it all over your check cereal and just mix that together until everything is fully coated. Next to a big zipper bag, I'm going to add one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Carefully add your coated cereal to the bag. I'm doing this a little bit at a time. I feel like it's just easier that way. Then you're just going to give that a shake so the cereal could get coated with the powdered sugar. Repeat the process until everything is nice and coated. Do you have a family tradition? Let me know in the comments below what do you like to make with your family. One thing I always look forward to back home in Belize when I was growing up was black fruit cake. My mom made black fruit cake every year and that was always so special. So if you've never seen a black fruit cake or heard of it, I'm going to leave it linked below so you can check it out if you're interested. For the last amount, I like to zip up the bag and just shake it as much as I can because I want everything to get evenly coated. I couldn't help myself, I had to try a couple just to make sure they were good. <laughs> now I'm going to spread this out evenly on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Spread this out evenly and you're going to let this sit there for at least 30 minutes just so it could cool down and set. Okay, now it's been 30 minutes and I'm just going to transfer this to a big bowl. And this is where it gets to be fun. You can add anything you like. This is all up to you and what you like. 
I'm going to add 1 cup of red and green M&Ms, 1 cup of mini pretzels, these are the cutest thing I've ever seen, it says itty bitty minis, they're so cute. And the last thing I'm adding is half cup of peanuts to that. Just give that a toss. Like I said, you can add what you want in here. If you don't like peanuts, you can add cashews. You can do M&Ms with peanuts. You can do a different shape pretzel. You can add some sprinkles in there if you want more color. So it's all up to what you like. And there's no right or wrong amount in here. If you want more pretzels, put more pretzels. If you want more peanuts, put more. So, you know, you just can't mess it up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you give this recipe a try because it's just so good. It's simple and good. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.